I'm going to show you some uh, ideas for mark making. One of my favorites is called the Semic Writing, and that basically is using uh, marks, making marks that look like they could be writing in various languages, but they're not. One way to do this is if you have some wet paint over dry paint and you can take your bamboo skewer or other implements and write into the piece like this. And then if you want, you can smooth it a little bit. Another way to do it is with your large oil pastels. Some people have asked me how I get this kind of uh, script look. One of the things that I looked a lot at were uh, letters and, and other kinds of things that showed Renaissance writing. And mine is not that, but it's informed by that. And I think one of the ways to get really loose with your mark making is to just practice. which is a little bit like using a big pencil when you're a kid. So it's uh, good to get that kid's spirit back. And just make big marks where you kind of use letters, but you m mess them up. And sometimes I like to write actual things. Let's guise it by going over. like this. You can also try writing that looks like it's from a different kind of alphabet than we have. So rather than be flowing, you can kind of artificially make your hand a bit tight and make little marks like this. And try this in your pieces. But the main thing is just to keep practicing. I'll just show you how I might write my name so that it becomes a semic writing by just kind of going over it. It's also scribbling. Scribbling is good. We've, we've got the, again, the additive method by writing onto dry areas, and we've got the subtractive method, which we do again by incising in. And this time it's showing even more of the red that's a lower layer on this piece. 